Hey guys, welcome to my Uber Lab video. This one's based on the Super Lab that gives enchants. In this video, I'll be doing five lab runs for Helm Enchants. There are seven enchants per run, and I'm going to be enchanting Crown of the Inward Eye. Each lab cost me 50C, and I got six keys. I died in one because I wasn't paying attention and ran into a lieutenant that had Reflect. At the end of the video, I'll be going over the loot and seeing if it's worth doing it with the cost of the labs. In this lab, there are special mods. So the mods are, you get 100% increased EXP. You get 6 additional uses of the Divine Font. 30% increased trap damage. Azaro does 30% increased damage and has 300% HP. Normal monsters have 30% attack and cast speed. Monsters deal 100% increased damage, not Azaro, just everything else. Monsters have 300% HP and there's 100% pack size. So I'm going to be going over the loot and the divine font enchants and then at the end of the video I'll kind of round up everything and see if it's worth doing. Lab, next lab, next lab thing. Alright, so we got two keys. And there we go. for some Elkies and then grab a helmet here real quick. I'll grab a couple since there's seven enchants. There we go. Alright, let's see what we get. Nope. Nope. I don't know, maybe. Nope. I don't know anybody that would use this helmet with uh, that's an abyssus enchant. I don't know, maybe. So I try. Nah. No, nothing really worth anything there. Maybe these two, I'll take a look at them in a second. So that lab we made uh, 2C, 3, 4, and that looks to be about it. Next lab, next lab for the super labs, two keys. What we got here? That's not very good. Alteration. We got seven enchants again, so here we go. Maybe, I think summoners use this helmet. Rallying cry buff effect. Uh, nope. Nope. That should go for something. That uh, would be a 10 exultant chant right there on an abyssus. I don't know if uh, attack builds use this thing, but I'll look at that one too. And phase run. All right, so possibly a couple good enchants there. Uh, I think the curse effect will definitely go, but uh, definitely need to make more money to eat the uh, cost of these. And we made an alteration orb. Go uh, another super lab done. One key and next lab, next lab four enchants. Oops, I was gonna click on this box. Good stuff was in that box. That's why I was gonna click on it. All right, here we go. Let me grab a couple more helmets. We got seven enchants, and uh, we'll see what we got. All right, assassin's mark duration. Nope. That would have sold for an exalt on an abyssus. Maybe. That would have sold for a lot on an Abyssus. This Abyssus thing is looking a lot better than this helmet. Uh, nope. That would have sold for a lot on an Abyssus. Alright, and what's on here? Shattering Steel. Siphoning Trap. Nope. Maybe, I don't know, people use Ice Spear. So yeah, that's uh, it for that lab. Would have made a ton of money if we are doing Abyssus, like, a lot. Anywho, we made uh, an Alteration Orb. Alrighty, good. next lab, next lab. I didn't die to reflect on this one, so we have one key and a bunch of enchants. Let's see what we got. Far too much baggage. Apparently I'm full. Alright, here we go. Uh, this one I thought was uh, War Chief Totem 
Gramps uh, or has 30% or 40% increased damage, but it didn't. So, Rain of Arrows. I don't think anybody's really using those. Maybe that'll go. Uh, that should go. Last Rain. That'd be good on Abyssus. Burning Arrow. Nope. No, so those three should go for something. Maybe not Blast Rain, but uh, Herald of Purity should go, and maybe for for bleh, I can't talk. That <laughs> should go for something. So I got two C, three C, four C, and that's about it. All right, here we go. Last one, last one. Uh, two keys. Of stuff that came out of there. Yeah, robe. All right, four helmets here. I have an abyssus kicking around. If I run out of uh, helmets, uh, we'll see. Burning arrow damage. Lightning strike. Wow, we just made more money for an abyssus there. That's a lot of money on an abyssus, or at least it was last week. It was like five exalts. Um, I don't think it's gonna sell on that though. Expire trap, convocation buff effect. So maybe blade blast, maybe this, and maybe the wild strike thing again. So we made uh, one C, two C, no, three C there. 4C. Say 4 or 5C. Alrighty guys, for the next portion of the video I'm going to go over the helmet chance that I got through this and kind of tally up what they'll sell for. I'm not very good with this helmet. I'm not sure if attack stuff sells with it or anything so I have a feeling a lot of these won't sell as it's more geared towards what I'm used to with an Abyssus than it is with kind of the inward eye which seems to be better for spells instead of uh, attacks so for these ones for ones that are worth half an exalt I got 36% increased convocation buff effect I honestly don't think that will sell but we'll see uh, blade blast has 24% increased AOE maybe uh, again I'm not sure 300% uh, increased ice spell crit on the second form maybe once again, I don't know. I, I don't know many people that use Ice Spear. 40% uh, increased Blade Flurry damage. I can't see an attack selling on this thing. I know on Abyssus that is usually worth 2 to 5x, depending on the league. Uh, Flesh Offering Duration. I was told a lot of Necromancers use this helmet, so maybe it'll sell for half an Exalt. And uh, Elemental Weakness Curse Effect, which I have up for half an Exalt as well. I think on an Abyssus, this usually sells for about the same. Maybe I can get an X out of it. But most people use like Vulnerability and stuff with an Abyssus. For stuff that's worth an Exalt, Herald of Purity has 30% mana reserve. Uh, I don't know if that'll go, but I know on an Abyssus, that would go for a couple X. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, freezing Pulse Projectile Speed. I don't know many people that use Freeze Pulse, but I know Projectile Speed for it's pretty good. Uh, ice crash damage, I don't think it'll sell because it's an attack on a caster item. Uh, Abyssus, that would be 1 to 2x for sure. And a uh, number of sentinels of purity, not sure on this one. Maybe it'll sell, maybe not. I have no idea. And then for the 2x ones, I had uh, wild strike beam chain 6 additional times. Not sure if it'll sell because it's on an, uh, a caster item like I mentioned before. On an Abyssus, those would be 2 to 3x probably after looking. They used to sell for almost 10, but the meta has changed for that. So I, I also sold for an Exalt a Fireball Damage Enchant, so I made 1x with that. And uh, if I can get a couple of these helmets to sell, uh, I could probably make my money back because I spent 300 Chaos on the keys alone. And I've only made back like half of that so far. So for Crown of the Inward Eye, I guess it depends on RNG. 
but for this round, I think if I used an Abyssus instead of Crown of the Inward Eye, I would have made my money back easily. But I didn't, so I'm just trying to learn a new helmet. You guys mentioned that Crown of the Inward Eye was a good helmet to enchant. I have enchanted one good one, but I've only sold two enchants out of... I don't know how many I got up lots. So yeah, that's my thing with this lab. You just have to pick the right enchant or the right helmet to enchant to make it worth your while. The lab itself isn't too bad for me anyway, but I'm pretty comfortable in lab. Just don't run into the ice crash lieutenant when he has his reflect buff up or you'll instantly die, or at least I will. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please hit the like and subscribe. Help the channel out a lot. And uh, I'll have the other two lab tests out through the week as well with my normal lab runs. Take care, guys. Have a great day.